clear, cold day in Philadelphia for the 1966 championship game of the Continental Football League. There's a blue sky and a bright sun overhead, but don't let them fool you. The fans have overcoats for this finale, and above the press box in Temple Stadium, cameras prepare to record the action. One of them focuses on yours truly in a pre-game interview with the energetic commissioner of the Continental Football League, Sal Rosen, who's worked tirelessly to make the CFL the thrilling loop it is. There's coach Wayne Harden of the Bulldogs, Eastern Division champions and former head coach of Navy. His opponent, Coach Perry Moss of Orlando, winners of the Western Division. Now the players, Orlando's Don Jonas, highest scoring quarterback in the history of pro football. Number 48 is Bill Tobin, fullback, former University of Missouri star. Pat Batten, Orlando's top rusher, who played his college football at Hardin-Simmons. And the Panthers' leading pass receiver, Tom Bland, one of the very best in the Continental League. The backfield stars of the Bulldogs, number 40, Johnny Drew, Miami of Ohio. Number 20, Dewey Lincoln, halfback from Michigan State. Number 30 rounding the corner is Philadelphia's top rusher, Claude Watts. Last to appear, but by no means least, the multi-talented quarterback, former Duke from Coach Moss, and we're ready to go. Philadelphia's ball, the first time they've got possession. Broadhead running the tee. The handoff to Lincoln, and Dewey slashes inside tackle for 13 yards. First down on the Panthers, 39. Philadelphia's Bob Broadhead is a pocket-type passer in classical style. He doesn't roam, and his pass good to Murphy for another first down for the Bulldogs. Broadhead again, moving the team well. Runs into trouble this time. His pass tipped and intercepted by West Schedule of Orlando, their safety man. He's down on the Panther 25. Now it's the turn of Don Jonas, the most valuable player in the Continental League. He wings one to Carl Lorenz. And the Panthers have a first down on the 36. But gremlins are all over the field on this cold December day. This time, Jonas comes a cropper. Lou White intercepts beautifully on a pass intended for Red Dawson. And he runs it back 20 yards to the Panther 28. White, number 47, gets a big hand as he comes off the field. Once more, the Bulldogs. And Broadhead pitches out to Lincoln, who's smeared by a trio of Panthers. Their defense is rugged. And when the Bulldogs stall out on the 36, Jamie Caleb tries a field goal. Here it is in slow motion from an end zone camera. It sure looks pretty as it comes up and over right between the uprights. 3-0 3 to nothing, favor of Philadelphia. Still a first quarter, but now it's Orlando on the move. Unlike Broadhead, Jonas is a scrambler. He shoots a nice one to Tom Bland for 21 yards. Panther owner Tom Granatel on the sidelines. Once more, Jonas. And you can see why he's named the CFL's most valuable player. Dawson has it and fights to the Philadelphia six. Two plays later, Jonas leads the Panthers. This time to their first score. In slow motion, Bill Tobin sweeps right. And the ex-Missouri speedster runs fast enough to get into that touchdown corner. 7-3 in favor of Orlando. Second quarter now. Philadelphia's broadhead dropping back to pass. There's no one open. And Bob is bare hugged by Orlando. Six foot six inch defensive end, Art Strahan, a 250 pounder. That broadhead is a great professional, and he finds a rare opportunity to run with a ball. Notice a great block by center Bob Tubbs as Broadhead runs 19 yards on the keep. All the way he goes to the Orlando 40. But now on fourth down and one, Orlando holds. A stonewall line stops Lincoln Cole. His brilliant football all the way. Take a good look here at Jonas' faking and his cool performance. It's a bomb down the sidelines. A great pass to Bland, and Tom has the touchdown. 14-3 in favor of the Panthers. It was a terrific diving 
Interesting catch by Bland. Philadelphia fights back. Broadhead in the pocket. His pass is good to Johnny Drew. And now Johnny battles to his own 38 before Dick Kessinen and Bob Green belt him over and out. When Orlando's defense holds again, Caleb tries a field goal. Darrell Cox rushes in to block it. And Big Art Strahan finally recovers it on the Bulldog 38. Jonas again. A magician of a quarterback. He had a fine career as a running back at Penn State, and he can go. He's got a first and ten on the Philadelphia 12-yard line. When Orlando's held on downs, Jonas angles a field goal. And it's 17-3 in favor of Orlando. It's still the big second quarter of this championship game. Philadelphia's broadhead drops a screen pass into the hands of Claude Watts for a first down on their own 35. Broadhead has great control as a passer. And he thrills the home folks with this one. He arches the ball to a perfect connection with Watts. It's a 37-yard game for the Bulldogs. Once more, we see a slow-motion study of Broadhead in action. And some real razzle-dazzle on the play itself. Dave Washington grabs the toss. And then the end from Southern California laterals to Watts, who fights his way to a first down on the Orlando 7. Goal to go for the Bulldogs. Broadhead wastes no time. Taking a hand off to Lincoln, he shoots a quick one to Watts, and the Bulldogs have cut the Panther lead to 17-10. Now Philadelphia keeps up the pressure. Watch Broadhead closely on this one. Almost caught off balance. He gets away and shoots one to Washington, who races to a first down on the six. But time runs out, and the Bulldogs fail to score. Third period now, and Broadhead, like all pro quarterbacks, occasionally has his problems. Larry Girdley wraps him up. But now we see Broadhead pull a smart one. Letting the Orlando defenders flood in. He jogs the ball to halfback Lincoln. And Dewey scampers straight down the middle for a touchdown. What ties the score at 17 all. Dewey Lincoln, ex-Michigan State star, now a standout performer in the Continental Football League. Here's an isolated camera shot on Daryl Cox as a former University of Kentucky player runs a zigzag pattern before grabbing a Jonas pass. Lou White is the man who hauls him down. Jonas throws some beauties in this title game. Here he rifles a shot to his favorite receiver, Bland, a never-say-die type, a leading receiver of this game. Now another look at Jonas. As he tries to lead the Panthers all the way. Rolling out to his left, he lost one now to Red Dawson, who drops the ball inside the five. Back come the Bulldogs. And once more, notice the coolness of Broadhead under pressure. Miraculously getting away from tacklers. He still can't find a receiver, so he just goes as far as he can. Ending up with a seven-yard gain. That's John Drew, flank wide to the right. He finds his way to position himself to receive Broadhead's pass. But here the drama builds to a climax. The score is tied 17 all. And Philadelphia has one last chance to win it with 48 seconds left to apply. Jamie Caleb tries a field goal from 45 yards out. The kick is up. But it's short of its mark and Pessinen brings it back to the 12 as regulation play runs out. One of the exciting features of the Continental Football League is that no game ever ends in a tie. Even during the regular season, five games were set into sudden death overtime. And now so does this closely matched game for the league championship itself. Philadelphia has possession after Orlando was held on downs. And Broadhead lobs one. It goes to Lincoln who streaks down to Orlando's 25-yard line. This is great if you're a Bulldog. On 
Dolphins, second down and 15. Broadhead keeps calm and collected. He throws one to Caleb for a first down on the 13. Jamie, the kicking specialist of the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs are getting down to where it hurts. Here's Caleb coming straight at you. And seven yards closer to the goal line. Broadhead again. The man in control. Once more is Caleb. And he drives to the two-yard line. No score, but he's awfully close to a first down. And Philadelphia can almost smell a victory. There's the ball just a foot short of a first down. But everyone knows what's coming. The all-important try for a field goal. Richmond holds as Caleb prepares to kick. The ball is snapped. The kick is up and good as gold. In professional football, such things pay off. And Philadelphia wins its first CFL crown, the 1966 champions of the league. 20 to 17 in a sudden death overtime over Orlando. Kicker Caleb, quarterback Broadhead, and Coach Harden, just three of the happiest Philadelphians this day in the whole football world. 